Today's adventure is all about this German Second World War aircrafts and specifically something pretty cool that is down deep there. Um, we're gonna have a um, dive down to around 15 meters and at about 15 meters if I'm lucky and I will be able to find it again I've done this discovery just very briefly earlier I couldn't figure out what I actually saw then boom it just dawned on me it's an incredible little thing it is actually what I call a pretty cool holy Madonna moment and I want you to take part in just that right now so let's make everything ready here I'll do some testing in the um, surface and then we're ready to go down into the deep back into the past of the Second World War and the German Luftwaffe aircraft history Gladius Mini is gonna help us out once again fantastic little ROV from Chasing Innovation I have to say this is a fantastic little thing it's got a 4k camera in the front a couple of very powerful LEDs five thrusters with the possibility of uh, you know riding around down there and um, you know adjust the inclination of the uh, angle angle of the dangle <laughs> so you can get good camera view down there and it's got the um, very highly sophisticated uh, things are going on in there so I don't want to bother naming what they are today are in seawater have a seawater uh, buoyancy module heavier because it's salt water works very simply by connecting that tether to the Wi-Fi router this thing here and then the other side of the tether into that one you have a hundred meter range hundred depth meter depth range couple of hours battery runtime at least and you control it with your tablet and your phone so um, but today I'm gonna do something special I need a little bit longer range so let's see how I'm gonna do that chasing innovation is a company who really believes in dreams and I have a dream of finding a lot of things from the Second World War that is underwater they supplied me with a 150 meter tether so I have extended range just used a um, spool for electrical cable so it will easier come on and off this is the original tether for 100 meter this one well it's quite simply just a um, power cable spool reel and uh, i modified it and put the 150 meter tether on there so today we have a very special unique project going on so let's have a look at that always performing a pre-dive check before I enter the water. I can see there is something in the water today, actually. Some kind of, what is that, gasoline? Oil? Doesn't look that smooth today, so. Is it green algae? Hope not. And the visibility will be very, very bad. But we're ready to go, so let's go down into the deep. Today's dive is gonna take us down to around 14, 15 meter. And uh, let me see, I got the wrong bearing here. I need to go to around 105. And on the way over there, just gonna have a peek around at the bottom. This is a German location from the Second World War. Uh, tons of different things has come up here. And um, I have to say, I'm amazed to see how many different items I have actually found so far. Um, some of them are pretty interesting. You could check out some of my videos. Uh, I always tend to look at what's there when I go around. So sometimes I just stop, check out whether there is a detail that I haven't seen before. And some of them are nothing. I do see something here. What is that? These two circular things, is that just seaweed? What is it? Let's see if we can go in there. Oh, not too fast, not too fast. Let's see. It's not that easy to say, actually. Every time I come here, I kind of see new stuff absolutely every time. But now today, we're gonna find something that is pretty spectacular. And, uh, well, I can't say anything more than that. Uh, I hope we can find it because one of the greatest challenges doing this underwater exploration is to actually find 
the items. That is one of the examples of that there are so many things down here. So let's go down and check that out. There's kind of like a, what is that? I found ceramics here. I found ceramic actually with the uh, swastika. Something there, is that a mug? Let me see, that's not a white piece of, uh, let's see if we can get a bit closer there. Come on, what is that thing there? You see that? It's definitely a cylindrical piece there. Let's see if we can get down there. Could be just a can, but there are so many items down here. What is that thing there? I couldn't tell. But that's what's here. There are tons of stuff. It is possible to color correct the uh, picture here, but it depends on whether I'm using the screen recorder. If you color correct the screen recorder, you know, it won't be that pretty. So I don't know whether I'll do that or not. Color correcting is okay, but this is actually what the camera sees because some of the colors will go away. Now we're at the correct depth and uh, the bearing is roughly uh, correct. Now I have to go out and um, and uh, drop out a little bit more of the tether. And uh, then it's all about just looking around here. And I have to say, this item here, if I'm lucky enough today to find it again, is something that I just said, what uh, F? It's like, is that possible that we actually found this item? And right now I'm a bit confused and I'm a bit worried that we won't find it. But we're right down at the correct depth. So hopefully we will be able to find what we came for. And yes, my ladies and gentlemen, straight ahead here, there is an item that really caught my attention. And I have to say, you're going to be very, very excited. So I'm going to put on low mode from here. Can you see it? It's just a wee little item there. So I'll go a bit closer. And when we're coming a bit closer, it's like, okay, what is that? I'm going to go even a bit more close. When you come over here, it's starting to be, well, more interesting, you could say. Well, it really is. It really, really is interesting. And I just have to keep this Gladys Minis of the... Uh, of the bottom so we don't disturb it can you see it can you see it can you see it i promised you some excitement i promised you a great little find and right there it is that is no other than what i think is a world war ii undercarriage for a german luftwaffe aircraft is that amazing or what? Have a look at that. That is absolutely unreal. Who would have guessed that something like this would be down there? Of course, I'm not 100% sure that this is something else than a German Luftwaffe set of uh, undercarriage. But wow, we're definitely going to check that out. And who knows? Let me just do this. Just around this area, I've just been once. I haven't been here before other than now. I just passed this area. I saw that thing. I didn't kind of notice it properly. And now, who knows what more is down here. But this by itself is just an amazing little underwater discovery. I'm gonna take some photos here now and we're gonna try and do something uh, and hover around and see if we can find some details. And who knows, maybe with the help of you kind people out there, we could find out what this thing is. Holy Madonna. My first thought is, why is this thing here? 
how did it come here and what is it from that's my kind of first uh, questions that comes in my head and I have to say how can this thing here has not been found or you know oh I'm so amazed look at that look at those beautiful images this is a leg of an aircraft these are the uh, two wheels and I'm gonna see if I can find let's see if we can put some light on it see that those tires look almost like they just came off a you know of an aircraft Maybe by the, uh, gonna be very careful not to uh, stir up that, but the, the center there could definitely give us some clue. Let's take off the light, you see that, without the light. Then you put on the light, you get a little bit murkier with stuff in the water there, but maybe the center of the, um, oh, this is so great. These images, images here are just fantastic I'm gonna there we are see that maybe we can identify the uh, aircraft type of what we see here I'm gonna go a little bit backwards and I'm gonna make a photo out of this so I have to stop the recording change over to photo mode sorry about this guys but I need to do this because maybe someone out there really knows what that is for I've done some research, I found some uh, German uh, aircraft uh, with uh, dual wheels, so uh, let's do some pictures without this, it's not that good, look at the images that this Gladys Mini is giving us, that is amazing, I'm just so pleased with what we're seeing here. Holy Madonna people, we are actually doing beautiful discoveries together here with oh, I have to change. I'm, I'm getting oh, oh stoked up here. What I want to say is that we're doing beautiful discoveries here and uh, What I'm kind of interested in is is there more around here? Could there be more from something that came down here? That is even more exciting I think got the tether hanging around here see it's kind of neutral wow I don't believe my eyes look at the beautiful images here so I'm gonna go around here a little bit go from the other end so let's have a look at a little picture here there's one double set of tires there's another one double set of tires are these rims the same I couldn't tell you. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put this puzzle together and hopefully we'll be able to see what this is all about. Let's have a close look down there on the bottom. It's exciting people and thank you Chasing Innovation for giving us the opportunity to do what we do here. For what you see it's uh, well worth the time and I have to say we are pursuing our dreams and the dreams is like finding things from the Second World War and that's what we're doing here. So if you enjoy our material on this channel you can check out our, our other videos, you can subscribe, you can comment, watch as many of our videos as many times as you like, that helps us out. And also I do create beautiful World War II dioramas for all of you to win. So if you want to take part in being a patron or PayPal supporter, you can check out in the uh, video description, the links of, of on how to do that. Basically I uh, give away a lot of my uh, found World War II artifacts each month to, uh, to my viewers and subscribers and commenters and supporters. So, in that way, you might end up with a very, very unique piece of history itself. Well, let's put on some lights here. I'm very, very curious about what this could come from. See, there's like one leg there. Let's go a bit further back. I'm trying to see if I can find a specific feature. Are there any kind of brake system there that could give it off Let's go down down very very gently it's amazing to see I think the current kind of uh, preserves this thing from from getting overgrown by the stuff around here 
Let's go backwards here. A little bit here. So I want to see if I can see more of the undercarriage there. You see that? It's definitely a leg, undercarriage leg. Um, could it be a front wheel? Could it be a main wheel? It's definitely not a tail wheel. But I'm so amazed. Look, look at that, people. We're looking at something that no one else has ever seen before. Since it either came off an aircraft or was dumped there. I don't know. But that is just amazing. What is that thing? Is that a thing we can check? See here. They're pretty big things. That Those wheels are pretty big. Okay, there's some kind of... Uh, what is that? Is that aluminum? Or let's take the light off here. Comes up better like this. Not too much light. That could be magnesium or something. That will kind of give off all of that stuff you see there. I'm thinking, could there be any way that we can see, um, see some of the uh, some of the riding on the sidewalls? See if I can maneuver over here. I have to be very careful so I don't mess up this area here. Here you can see better the uh, the leg. Maybe that can give off some clue. Looks like it was all the way up there. Maybe it was torn off. Maybe it was shot off by the, by the Allied. You know the Allied did have a lot of bombing missions in this area. Is that a piece that is down there? That's just a sea star. Let's gently, gently, gently go down there. I couldn't tell, but let's turn around here. See that? Got a very characteristic rim there. One, two, three, two, four. Is that six rim spokes? Oh, this is just amazing. I'm going to turn off the light. I'm kind of just drifting into the tire. That's perfectly what I wanted. I want to see if there are some riding here. I can't see. You can see see the rim. Probably magnesium or something like that. Look very lightweight material. Wow. There's some tether pole here. Let's see if we can go a little bit up. You see that? That's the valve fitting for probably putting air into the uh, tire. Wow, is that cool? Took it over to this side. I saw a feature there. Maybe that little feature can help us out. There's a kind of a attachment, whatever it is. Let's see if we can get some light down there. Maybe that can shed some light on what this aircraft wheel leg is for, on the carriage, whatever you like to call it. I do the discoveries, you do the research and find out what this thing is. <laughs> All right, that is, that is, what is it? Is it kind of a handle or something? I couldn't tell. We have something going on out here. I think, I suspect that there's a lot more down actually in the silt there. See the angle it's laying in? I think the leg goes further in there. Uh, what is that thing there? There's like a square. What is that? Let's see if we can get in there. Take up some of the light. That doesn't look natural. But let's go a bit further up so we don't mess it up too much. And I'll go backwards. Go backwards and then try and go... Road racing in the deep! <laughs> But I, I have to say, this is actually for me a holy Madonna moment. That's my expression when I get kind of excited. <laughs> Hope you excuse me for that. Um, let's go in here. Let's go in here. I want to see if I can get down very close to this wheel. First, I'm going to take off the light. Then when I get closer, I'm going to fall Let's go down, down, down. I can't see any markings. That's what I was trying to find. And 
but we can see the profile of the tire and everything but this thing here is quite unique uh i bet there are not that many people out there who can actually show you stuff like this not as private people like myself and uh, being able to share it that is for me actually the most important thing this thing here would be untouched no one would know about it and would just stay here for the next hundred years and rot away if no one ever found it wow 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 and triple wow and holy madonna and absolutely everything in the beginning we thought that the thing would just be a toy wouldn't be worth anything for us but boy were we wrong gladius mini made by chasing innovation wow it's a fantastic tool thank you chasing innovation for believing in us and uh, giving us the opportunity to work with this wonderful tool for underwater exploring we're just so happy this place here well to be honest there's the next adventure you are you just have to wait we are we did find something more there not just one thing several things and you will be absolutely ecstatic as i became when we found the next item and i'm just gonna be so thrilled to share all of that with all with all of you out there um before i forget it just have to put this through um all the work that you see is depending on some kind of support from you beautiful people viewers subscribers commenters and supporters out there so you can either make a one-time donation to this thing we become a patron and uh, you actually take part in something cool uh, i create these beautiful world War two dioramas that i give away to my supporters each and every month there are several frames and dioramas and artifacts from the second world war that i give away to my beautiful faithful patrons and for those of you who want to take part in some um, draws from uh, the donations coming in from paypal there are separate draws for you and these are genuine world war ii artifacts that i actually find and i give them away in these beautiful handmade frames that me my son and my daughter create for all of you nice people out there so all that you see is a result of our hard work research traveling and going to the location and doing the discoveries basically what you have to do just sit back relax enjoy and take part in our adventure in this way you can have the dioramas if you're lucky and you actually have a piece of the history yourself so we do the hard work that's why we need you to support so we can do that and present these wonderful small adventures for all of you out there but nevertheless we do appreciate all of you subscribing commenting supporting us by watching our videos watch them many times check out the ads share comment everything all of that good stuff helps us out to do and present the material that you see but as i said are we finished at this location no we haven't even started and we are definitely going to show you something really really exciting in the very near future so check out the videos coming out and the patreon and paypal supporter videos are out there in the beginning of each month so you can see how that works and there will be links in the video description of how to become either a patron or a paypal donator so check out that other than that you just have to be patient i will show you something beautiful later some new adventures with the gladius mini and uh, you will definitely not be disappointed so until next time stay safe smile and see you later